Ladies and gents, one more CG reaction, and this is what if we detonated all nuclear bombs at once by the channel Kur Kurzgesagt in a nutshell. Yeah, uh, yesterday I uploaded the video from you know uh, about gold uh, from this channel that was just great. Not yesterday, day before yesterday. Yeah, forty-eight hours ago. So yeah, that was great video. Somebody in the comments said react to this. So yeah, I'm reacting to this. Why not? Uh, this is a kind of an old video, two or three, two three years old. So, uh, if the, you see checkered box there, it could be because you know it gets blocked because older videos of this channel gets blocked. So it might be because of that, but we'll see. Yeah, what if we detonated all nuclear bombs at once? If the question is if the Earth would explode, uh, no, it would not. It would require immense level of energy to do that, and all nuclear bombs, even if you multiply it by ten, doesn't do that. So yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. What if we detonate all nuclear bombs at one place and what effect that might have? That would be pretty effed up. I'm pretty sure you could see that from the moon, even in the space, the cloud, mushroom cloud would go pretty high, like 50, 60, 70 kilometers up, I'm pretty sure. Uh, radiation would spread throughout the planet. Uh, I, I'm not so sure if radiation cloud would be so devastating as it would be as you know species killing asteroid would have like the one that killed dinosaur uh, the, but cloud would be you know strong enough that it would spread throughout the world entire earth and it would pretty much give everybody cancer let's just say most of the people it would be really bad it depends on which kind of bombs i think most people most countries just have atom bombs very few are the hydrogen bombs but yeah if all of them were hydrogen bombs that would be a different case then the mushroom cloud and all the nuclear dust would be so much that it would you know engulf the entire planet like a species killing asteroid would and it would be really bad so yeah let's watch this one and remember people if you like my reaction do not like subscribe check out the rick sunday there's a link in the description check out the cast for the place check out the end card and yeah let's watch this one Many of our viewers have asked us a very serious question. What if we made a big pile of bombs and exploded every nuclear weapon in the world all at once? Strangely enough, we couldn't find a good source to answer this question to our satisfaction. So, we gathered together a few scientists to calculate what would happen and find an answer to this extremely important scientific problem once and for all. Currently, there are 15,000 nuclear weapons on Earth. The US and Russia both have around 7,000, while France, China, the UK, Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea own around 1,000 between them. Yeah, most of them are in US and uh, Russia, but even those got decreased th throughout the year. It used to be way more than that. I mean, Russia came, with, came up with the rocket formula. US developed uh, the nuclear bomb with the Manhattan Project, so it makes sense those two countries have the most bombs. So yeah, Cold War countries. No. But how much destructive power is this really? Let's try to put these numbers into perspective. On Earth, there are about 4,500 cities or urban areas with at least 100,000 inhabitants. Some are bigger than others, so we'll assume that on average, we need three nuclear bombs to completely wipe out one city. This means we could destroy every single city on planet Earth with our nuclear arsenal, killing more than... If we are detonating not your conventional atom bomb, but hydrogen bomb, thermonuclear bomb, I think most cities would require just one if its bomb is big enough. And some cities like Tokyo would require, I think, two. But even that depends. If you make a big bomb like Tsar Bomba or even bigger than that, I think one would do the job. I'm pretty sure most countries don't have... I don't think, apart from Russia and USA, anybody has the hydrogen bomb. North Korea says they have it, but, you know, tests, uh, whatever we detected so far says the other way, so I think they're just flexing. But yeah, Russia and USA, I think, have the hydrogen bomb, and even that is in very small amount. ...than 3 billion people, roughly half of humanity, in an instant. And we'd still have 1,500 nuclear weapons left. Now that's what an expert would call overkill. So we can say with confidence that we have a lot of nuclear weapons and they can do a lot of damage. But what if we make a huge pile of all 15,000 bombs and pull the trigger? Let's drop our nuclear pile in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, just to show nature who's boss. Our warheads, piled haphazardly, fit into a small warehouse. 
A typical US warhead. I think nature has seen who's the boss scenario many times. Na nature is just now tired and just wants to be left alone. It has the power of 200,000 tons of TNT. So I think on uh, your atomic bomb uh, average from I think 22 kilotons to I think 2200 kilotons. So that would be 22,000 tons to I think 2.2 million tons uh, TNT so I guess uh, he just you know got all the uh, data of how many bombs these countries have most of them how much yield they can produce and I think they have, he averaged it out that must be the case otherwise I think variation is very many and I'm pretty sure yeah, he didn't take into account the hydrogen bombs since they are not met that many but yeah hydrogen bombs are much higher much much higher they would be, their yield would be immense compared to that. So 15,000 warheads would be the equivalent of 3 billion tons of TNT. For scale, this is enough to rebuild the whole island of Manhattan with every building and skyscraper using stacks of TNT. <laughs> the closest thing we can compare to the energy gathered here is a volcano. One of the deadliest volcanic eruptions in recorded history took place in 1883 on the island of Krakatoa. The eruption was so powerful that 70% of the island and the surrounding archipelago was destroyed, killing tens of thousands of people. Its effects were felt around the world for days after the event. Our nuclear pile contains 15 times the energy of the Krakatoa volcanic eruption. So let's finally push the button. Three, two, one. Let me guess that bot's going to in die. In a second, a fireball 50 kilometers across vaporizes everything in its way and creates a blast wave that flattens 3,000 square kilometers of forest. Every living thing within 250 kilometers will start to burn. The explosion will be heard literally around the world as the pressure wave circles the Earth tens of times over the next few weeks. Millions of tons of incinerated material are catapulted into the atmosphere. There you go. The mushroom cloud reaches the outer reaches of the stratosphere, pushing up against space itself. After things have calmed down, a small crater, about 10 kilometers across, is left in the center of the worst wildfires the planet has seen in millennia, spreading throughout South America, burning down forests and cities alike. And now, the unpleasant part begins. Extremely radioactive no material will kill living things very quickly. And yeah, pe most people don't realize that nuclear bombs are fucked up, but not just because of the damage they do immediately. The biggest damage uh, is out of the radiation. I mean, if you detonate a bomb, the radiation is way too dangerous. I mean, immediate area where it detonates, everything gets vaporized, everything. At atomic level, it all vaporizes. Then the shockwave damage is the most physical damage that we see. And then the radiation comes, that goes even immense uh, distances. Even that is effed up. And that stays there for thousands of years, so it's a long time damage and a large area several kilometers around the crater is now uninhabitable, as is everywhere for hundreds Blowing of kilometers sea. downwind. Much of the fallout is carried high into the atmosphere by yeah. the mushroom cloud and carried around the planet. The amount of radioactive material in the environment doubles worldwide, which still isn't civilization ending, but we may see more cancer for a while. Yeah, okay. Uh, obviously, he's taking into account that most of them, these are just atomic bombs and not the thermonuclear bombs because lots most countries say like you know US and Russia that we don't have that many of them but I don't believe them you know I'm pretty sure they have lots of hydrogen bombs stored lots of and I don't believe that Russia stopped with the Tsar bomb I think they went even more than that so did USA so yeah I think if we uh, take real real storage of the bombs and there will be a lot of hydrogen bombs I think the scenario would be same as that you know dinosaur killing asteroid the you know radiation cloud would you know engulf the entire planet and that would be really bad sunlight would stop not just that now it's a radi radiation everywhere there would be you know radioactive rain so that's just it's all the like fallout game for it's like all going to be for like fallout 4 you would have radioactive rain it will look all green it's just effed up man apocalypse is here apparently a portion of the particles will flow to the edge of space for years and cause a nuclear winter that could lower global temperatures by a few degrees for a few years. This explosion was pretty bad if you're in South America and especially Brazil. The Amazon rainforest you can do that? is pretty I much that. history, which is not great. But human life will go on. Okay, but what if we explode more nuclear weapons? 
Let's suppose humanity decided to mine every bit of uranium on Earth and build as many nuclear bombs as possible. There you go, uranium. So he's only talking about the atomic bombs. I mean, thermonuclear bombs do require atomic bomb in it, but that's a small amount compared to the original hydrogen bomb. So I think you could create many hydrogen bomb using this. Then you would create atomic bomb because you just need a small amount of, you know, uh, with the uranium compared to the, you know, hydrogen you would need. But hydrogen bomb, making it is so complicated and resources needed. I mean, you can do it, but it's, it's, it's lots of effort. But if the effort is not considered, you just want to make all the bombs you can. I think you could make many th thermonuclear bombs and that would be really bad. Possible. At current usage, it's estimated that there are around 35 million tons of uranium in Earth's crust, enough to power human civilization for over 2,000 years, or to build millions of nuclear warheads. For the sake of argument, let's say we create a pile with a yield of 10 billion Hiroshima bombs, which makes up a cube three kilometers high that contains roughly the energy of the asteroid impact that ended the age of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Except it's also nuclear. Three, two, one. Our pile explodes in a fireball stretching so high into the sky that it's visible from half of South America, with so much power that the ground just splashes like water, forming a crater 100 kilometers across. Bedrock on the scale of whole mountain ranges is vaporized in an instant, while thousands of tons of material is catapulted away. This would be so bad, the moon literally would run out and towards jo join the Mars, I guess. No physics can explain that. Moon would be, oh hell no, just run out to the Mars. I'm going to the Mars. <laughs> With such speed that it's ejected into space. Some leaves Earth forever, while most of it comes raining down as hot, burning debris yeah. that heats up the atmosphere to oven-like temperatures, killing most big animals and causing firestorms all over the world. The Earth's crust rings like a bell, struck by global earthquakes stronger than anything in recorded history, decimating cities around the world while hurricane-force winds flatten every single tree in South America and wildfires consume the continent. The abundance of hydrocarbons in the Amazon burned to form ash are cast into the atmosphere, darting the sky and keeping sunlight from reaching the surface, dropping temperatures to near freezing worldwide. The ensuing global winter may last for decades and results in the extinction of every large animal species, humans included. Just like the asteroid. We man. could also mention that every corner of the planet is covered with radioactive fallout, but at this point, it doesn't matter that much anymore. Yeah, you're dead. This <laughs> you go is follow. humanity's <laughs> extinction event. The astronauts aboard the International Space Station get to enjoy a great view for a while, but it's not unlikely that the spray of rocks blast into orbit will destroy the station. Those lucky enough to be in bunkers or in submarines deep below the ocean surface may survive the longest before they exhaust their food supplies and have to venture out for more. They'll find the world a reference. charred, freezing, radioactive wasteland. The planet itself doesn't care at all. After just a few million years, the wounds of the explosions have healed and life is thriving, arguably even more so than when humans were around. If intelligent life emerges again, it might be able to work out what happened. When they study geology, they'll find a bizarre and very thin layer of rock covering the entire world, enriched in radioactive elements like uranium and the other nasty things it decays to, mixed with rare earth metals and plastics that humans used. They would probably be very, very confused. Yeah, not just that. What if we are one of those species? What if all the extinct and even that happened, one of them were like this and we still haven't found a proper evidence that suggests that? Mm, that would be so spooky. Videos like this one take well over 1200 hours to finish. Over the years, we put more and more effort into research, conversations with experts, illustration and animation, sound design and fact checking. For this video, we put a lot of extra work into our sources document. You can read how we got to the information in the video, what our experts thought about it, where they disagreed with each other. We can take the time to do this because of you, our viewers. Because you watch and share our videos, buy our posters and support us on Patreon.com. If you like what we're doing... Yeah, people, go to the original video web uh, page and buy the pa Patreon... Buy the merchandise and, you know, become a Patreon because this channel is great. Yeah, so <laughs> I love the follow reference. I've never come across a single creator of anything, any channels like this. Who doesn't know Fallout, fallout or plays Fallout? I love that. <laughs> a new follow reference is coming and there you go. 
this was great man yeah i mean there is something to think about what if we are one of these species and what if one of the extinction even that happened was like this like not natural but ma- you know man made so yeah there would be something we haven't found any evidence of that and it chances are slim but that could be possibilities yeah but that would be really effed up i mean it would be just like a super volcano or asteroid collision if we detonate that much and i'm pretty sure we have way many hydrogen bombs than people say i mean why would they say it it's classified for national security they could just say that and that's it you don't have to disclose it so i'm pretty sure russia uh, usa has hydrogen bomb i'm pretty sure other countries would just say we only have a few atomic bombs you don't even have hydrogen bombs pretty sure they have that too uh, you know under the wraps when it comes to nuclear bombs i don't think anybody is telling complete truth so yeah if we really bring all the bombs together including hydrogen bombs it would be really bad nothing would happen to planets obviously we all be screwed lots of species would survive because lots of things like tardigrade and things like that is just nothing can touch them they would survive things like that die and come back to life as soon as they introduce to some form of element like water and things so yeah this was a great video like always all right people if you like my reaction over like and subscribe check out the reaction there's a link in the description check out the cards for all the playlists check out the end cards and yeah i'll see you next time